one, one thing I tend to do is um, I keep a journal on uh, our keys to the game, our goals for the game, our, our pregame quizzes, our, you know, not our speeches, but certainly our, our key points. And one thing we talked about in the past with Georgetown is um, I think any great movie or great TV show is uh, due in part largely to the supporting cast. And I think even though they have guys, um, you know, such as, um, you know, Alan, et cetera, uh, I do think it's the supporting pieces and the people around him that allow him to get in the positions to succeed. And, you know, eight all-conference players coming out of their lineup, I don't know if that's ever been done before. I think that certainly is well-deserved and it's legit. Uh, and I think it's the people who get the ball from the back of the, the team into the front of the team, uh, particularly from wide areas. I think their service into Allen is very good, and I think their ability to hold the ball uh, and play around the perimeter of the 18-yard box in the final third in combination is something that makes them a little different. So we certainly, uh, when we're on, we're one of the top teams in the country defensively. I think our preparation will be there, and I think uh, it's an individual moment that can beat us, but I think it's got to be collective approach uh, by 11 guys in the field, uh, certainly the first defender who's one-on-one -on -one in the particular situation, but mainly in triangles and diamonds all around the field and small numbers breaking the game down to the you know, quadrants from a real estate perspective and, uh, you know, d uh, diamonds and triangles from a numbers perspective. As far as getting uh, to them, uh, I do think we're a funny offensive team. You know, we did go three games without scoring a goal. Uh, which sent, uh, felt like an eternity. Uh, but at the same time, I think we've proven to be very dangerous. I think uh, the key is to play in their half of the field and uh, gain the territory battle and uh, certainly look to get them on the break when we can. Uh, with Yarrow and his athleticism, you know, and then four seniors on their back line, four all-conference players, it's tough to do. So you certainly, uh, you know, the last time we played them, we had, um, you know, two very good looks at the goal. Vizquenza had one late in the game, and uh, Walker Andrade had one inside of the 18 in the first half. And with teams like this, you're going to get one uh, to three good chances a game, two to four good chances a game, and you have to make them. And uh, that's certainly something we've talked about is, uh, you know, seizing those moments. But we also had the same conversation going into Creighton, and we ended up, you know, falling 17 to 15 on shots to Creighton and generating a lot of corner kicks, 7 to 2 on corner kicks, and we're capable of uh, generating, you know, opportunities and volume when we want to. So, um, you know, I think we can uh, win a 2 to 1 game. We might be able to win a 3 to 2 game. Uh, it's going to be tough to shut them out, but we certainly have proven we can go on the road and, uh, and, and shut teams down and, uh, and, and keep our formula trying to allow one goal or less. This is, uh, I won't say it's a rivalry, because I think Georgetown might you know, snicker a little bit. I'm not sure if we're quite there yet, but I think uh, we do have good games. I think uh, there's certainly a, a tremendous amount of respect from us for them. Uh, and I think there's a fair amount of respect uh, for our body of work from the Georgetown staff and their players. Uh, last year, we went there, played a midweek game uh, at Shawfield, and probably over-respected Georgetown, sat in, uh, let them do what they want to do. Uh, one thing we talk about is... Uh, you know, the person who has the baton is going to dictate the music that's played. And they had the baton the whole game, and we lost in overtime. And then I felt in the Big East semifinal, we uh, kind of imposed ourselves a little more on both sides of the ball and were certainly, uh, you know, disrupting their rhythm and uh, took away what they wanted to do and took away some of their key people and were able to get a result. The irony of that is when we played um, <clears throat> here in the regular season early on, uh, the first half, we showed too much respect and sat in too much and didn't have a lot of the game. And then I thought in the second half, uh, I'm not sure we were better, but we were close. And it was a very even game, and it certainly could have went either way. And I think they probably felt like they escaped with a win uh, and certainly a, a well-deserved win. Uh, but it reminded me of last year. You know, we're in overtime, one nothing loss, and here we are playing in the semis again. Uh, you know, Providence is playing Creighton again. And I think, um, you know, for the third year since we've been in the league, the regular season standings or the, or the final four, we've been reflected as one of the top two or three programs in the, in the conference. And I certainly think that's something that, as we roll along here as a program, gets overlooked a little bit at times. But uh, we belong here. We feel like we can compete with them. And I think our body of work... Uh, you know, on the road against top teams, and this league has us ready for it, and we certainly are going there to win the game. I was told this afternoon that they were number three, I think, in the rankings now, uh, and I think that's certainly, um, you know, one thing we talked about is when we beat Notre Dame, uh, the response by the players on the field was lukewarm. 
when we beat Creighton, it was moderate. And I think tomorrow, um, you know, because of it's a it's a semifinal game and there's some implications on it mathematically, uh, it'll probably be a, a fairly profound response if we were to do it. Uh, but I still talk to the guys about it a lot. I think it makes mm, for better headlines, better tweets, better things from a media standpoint and kind of propaganda than it actually does for anything that's going to propel us. Uh, having said that, certainly it's a feather in our cap and would be a neat, um, you know, um, hat rack to hang our hat on, so to speak. Um, but it is uh, it is there. The opportunity is there. And with each of these games, I, I tell the guys every game is an opportunity. And great memories and great moments come from great opportunities. And uh, certainly there's another one there. And uh, for whatever reason, we tend to do well on the road. We play well on the road. Not saying we haven't played great at home. We could have played better at home. But again, certainly, uh, you know, our preparation has not changed. We're not going to under-respect Georgetown by any means, but we're not going to over-respect them and, and be paralyzed by them. And I think uh, we're right in the middle where we want to be, and I like our player ownership. Uh, the guys have the keys to the program at this time of the year, and I think I think where we need to be. And we'll, we'll travel well tonight and get ready tomorrow and, uh, and go for it again on Thursday. I'd like to think our body of work um, – you know, I won't say it speaks for itself, but if you really dissect it and you, you break it up and look at it, I think between our uh, big wins, our marquee wins, uh, our last, you know, 10 to 14 games, and I think the X factor in all of it is, you know, when Dallas Jay's been available, the statistics that go in his favor and what kind of team we are when we have our full cast of characters. I think that certainly shows that we're a top team. Uh, you throw in even uh, playing Ohio State and Edwardsville in the preseason, who were top two top 40 RPI teams, and get results there and certainly what we're capable of um, you know uh, when we do have our full full team out there uh, I think it's spoken for itself and I think our best is good enough I think our uh, best is amongst the best at times and uh, I think um, you know we don't talk a lot about RPI about mathematical stuff uh, maybe before Butler we should have and I wish I did but I think we're looking to play to a standard and hit a performance and I think of our performance and our habits and our mentality is right uh, we talk a lot about the how and the who and the process and I think that will lead to the what because we can't really go out and really control the what is so it's more on how we approach it um, you know what our mentality is and the habits and the processes that are going to allow us to be in a position to not win the game so much but just win the first half or tie the first half and then break it down into you know 10 or 15 minute chunks like we tend to do in games like this.